Internet of Things Mobile Air Pollution Monitoring System Air pollution affects our day-to-day -day activities and quality of life. This project proposes an air pollution monitoring system. A WSN, also known as Wireless Sensor Network, is a network consisting of sensor nodes. WSN are related to the concept of IoT. Governments and citizens are looking for scientific intellect to challenge the common threat of pollution in its many procedures. Currently, mobile apps are able to accomplish functions like air quality, air quality forecasts, air quality monitoring, and risk highlighting connected with threshold breaking quality. So, accessing monitoring systems have inferior precision, low sensitivity, and require laboratory analysis. So, our, our system proposes air pollution monitoring system with a gas sensor that can be uh, used to detect gas, gases like CO, uh, NO2, etc. Uh, a computing device that can transmit data to the cloud via a Wi-Fi module and a mobile application that enables a user to access relevant air quality data from the cloud. So this is our proposed system architecture. So our system has an MQ series gas sensors which can be MQ2, MQ135 and MQ7 gas sensors and these gas sensors detect the gases and send it to the node MCU. Node MCU contains an inbuilt Wi-Fi module so uh, the node MCU sends the data uh, through wireless network to wireless LAN AP uh, which gives the data to the cloud via internet and uh, this cloud acts as the test data set for our machine learning algorithm which we use for prediction so our machine learning algorithm we use here is decision tree algorithm so air pollution database th that is the historical data set and the test data set is given to the machine learning algorithm and we get the predicted data a monitoring system with future data prediction the ability to predict the future AQI level from the previous history is one of the key features of our, our system. Data can be accessed from anywhere. Uh, so the sensor should be placed on vehicles or it could be also placed on lamp posts and uh, this is an efficient way uh, we adopt. Draw route from source to destination. The mobile application should be developed so that the user traveling to destination can get the predicted pollution level of the entire route and can get the warning is uh, displayed if the pollution level is too high. Create charts to display data collected by IoT. Based on data retrieved by the sensor, using external libraries charts are uh, drawn on our mobile app. Prediction and analysis. So, as mentioned earlier, the uh, prediction algorithm we use is decision tree algorithm. The algorithm was used because it gives us the precise and most accurate data. Historical data can be used to predict pollution levels for subsequent days. Suppose AQI is mapped to seven consecutive days at a particular time. So, if day one uh, contains the AQI level as 423, which we consider as high. Uh, day 2 contains uh, AQI level as 500 and similarly for the next 5 days uh, we have uh, varying uh, pollution levels on the data set and uh, with this algorithm it is uh, possible to predict the pollution level of the 8th day. So uh, challenges our project phase, reduce com uh, computation per complexity and enhance the performance of the system. Uh, so uh, we use machine learning algorithm to predict data, uh, the train data set. This is, the, uh, this is how we overcome the challenges. So our proposed system provides data on the current level of contaminants. Uh, for further analysis, provides policy makers with information on how to manage air quality in the region in a better way, provides data that can be used for research purposes as well as educational purposes, helps us reduce air pollution in an area thus contributing to the environment, health and safety, helps increase the quality of life and also plays a significant role in helping the world tackle global warming.
थैंक यू